it's show time. humans that was really weird never doing that again hi it's me your girl your fave girl whatever i'm very tired but i shouldn't be because i woke up at nine today we are going to freaking new york city i'm so excited we're going up to new york for i have a callback for something special probably not gonna get it but i eh, i probably won't get it but like you know might as well just have like hope or positivity <laughs> what's that I'm so tight, like you can see my dark circles. Anyway, so while we're up there, we are going to be celebrating my sister's birthday. You know Allison, she is a very fancy baby. Oh Jesus Christ, ah! This is just like my actual driving. Uh, oh my God, my road rage is kicking in. <laughs> Where'd you get your driver's plate? I don't have one. Hey, why are you looking off the I road? I saw a little girl. The amount of germs on this thing. She's very glamorous. Push them down the road, apparently. This is stressful. I can't anger Mickey Mouse. I'm getting high off of the smell here. I don't know. I don't know what number. I'll tell you. I know, but I won't. Maybe I, what if I don't understand? Kindergarten math. Freaking slap my knee. So while we're up there, we are going to be seeing Beetlejuice, the musical, the musical, the musical. And I'm so excited. I want to see that musical so badly. I'll be, I'm wearing a Wicked shirt today because Wicked literally, ow, because Wicked's literally my life. Anywho, we're gonna leave. I'll update you when we leave. Time for takeoff, boys. Yeah. Let's go. New York, here I come. Beetlejuice Alex Brightman, here I come. So this is my outfit for Beetlejuice, and I thought my dress looked like Barbara's dress from the musical, but it doesn't. Like, what was I thinking? Like, what did I think Barbara's dress looked like? Okay, so, haven't vlogged in, like, forever. We're about to go see Beetlejuice, the musical, the musical, the musical, and I'm so excited. I am in inner Barbara kind of dress, and then I have, like, a dark green scrunchie, and my... Okay, so like we're about to get in Beetlejuice, but like we've been waiting in a long ride, like line the entire time. So, 
So let me explain what that last clip was. That was me freaking out because I thought I was about to miss the Beetlejuice show. So we were standing in this long line and we assumed it was for Beetlejuice and the people in front of us said it was for Beetlejuice. And then we were waiting there for like maybe 10 minutes and the show's like getting ready to start, like about to start soon. And Benny went and checked around to make sure that this was the line and it wasn't. So we got out and we ran to the front of the freaking theater and I almost missed Beetlejuice. I had luckily seven minutes to spare, but I, oh my God. It's showtime. Okay, so we're at intermission. If Wicked did not have my soul, and I will say this a million times, Wicked has my soul. Like, if you could ask it, and like, Wicked has my soul. This would be my favorite musical. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Obviously, yes, it's kids. Little babies should not come and see this because guess what? F bombs are dropped. But so funny. Alex Brightman, I literally love you so much. Carrie Butler, I love you so much. Like, I literally love the entire cast so much. Like, I love you guys. Like, I, lo I love you. I love you. So sadly, I left the stage door early because I know Alex Brightman takes a really long time to like come out, but like I was so hungry, like honey, like I needed food. But it was so amazing to see the people that I did. Like literally, I love you all so much. Thank you for making my night the best night of my freaking life. I love you. month since I've been in New York and I'm just now filming this video not really I'm just now editing this video but I feel like I didn't really give a review on Mean Girls and Beetlejuice so I'm just gonna give it to you right now okay so we're gonna start out with me talking about Beetlejuice and that was the best musical I've ever seen in my entire life like I know I said that Wicked has my soul, and you know, Wicked still kind of owns my soul. Like, you could ask them, they have my soul. Beetlejuice was so amazing. Like, the sets, the props, like, so much detail went into the sets. Okay, let's just start off with the performers. Like, seriously, Alex Brightman, Sophia Ann Caruso, Carrie Butler, Rob McClure, is that, I don't know if I said that right, um, Leslie Kritzer? Like, what? Leslie, amazing as Delia, amazing as Delia. Alex. Alex was the best Beetlejuice, like, I could not see another person in that role. Sophia and Crusoe, hi, I love you. I love you so much. You are an amazing human being. You're not even gonna watch this, but I love you. Carrie Butler, <laughs> 
I love Carrie Butler so much. Y'all probably don't know this, but I just recently did, not really recently, it was a long time, but not that long, yeah, it was a few months ago. I did Hairspray Jr. and I played Penny Lou Pingleton, and Carrie Butler was the original per Penny Lou Pingleton on Broadway. So it's like, we be pennies together. Rob McClure as Adam was so, so good, so good. I cannot, I cannot rave about this musical enough. Like I cannot, I can't even like find the words to describe how much I love this musical. Definitely not your everyday musical. Let's just get that out of the way. It is not your everyday musical. It immediately starts off. It's literally making fun of other Broadway shows. Like one of the lines is literally, just relax, you'll be fine. Drink your $50 wine and take a breath. It's just so good. And like, seriously, if y'all are in New York and you're trying to decide what Broadway shows that you want to see, you need to see Beetlejuice. Something that I think, I think Beetlejuice is going to forever have a huge impact on my life. For a long time, at least, be my favorite musical because Okay, so I'm sure you know this by now, but my dream is to be on Broadway. Like, Beetlejuice was my first ever New York Broadway show. Like, Beetlejuice was my first Broadway show. My first actual playbill. The first time I waited by a stage door. And my first- Beetlejuice the playbill is my first ever signed playbill. My only signed playbill. First time I ever got to see the original cast perform on a stage. Okay, now Mean Girls. I love Mean Girls. So Mean Girls was a complete surprise. Like me and my sister were surprised by it because we were seeing it on her birthday and it was a, just a complete surprise. Okay, so Mean Girls is such a good thing. Like Beetlejuice and Mean Girls, like you don't really see those two things as musicals, but it works. I got to see Erica Henningsen perform as Katie Herring on stage and oh my God, <laughs> I cried. I cried so hard because she's my all-time favorite Broadway actress. Taylor Louderman, oh my God. I got to see Taylor Louderman perform as freaking Regina George and freaking world burn, someone gets hurt. Like freaking, you are a queen and no, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So cool seeing them. Cause like I watched the broadway.com vlogs so many times and just seeing them and then I get to like watch them perform in real life. It's so weird. It's so weird.